right. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call this regular meeting, which has been reset to Tuesday on September the 5th and duly posted uh, the Arlington City Commission to order and call upon Commissioner Mike Mesmer to lead us in an invocation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everybody to our city commission meeting here tonight. Thank everyone who is uh, helping to support our friends and neighbors to the north who've been so uh, uh, so much affected by uh, the terrible storm that hit their hit the Gulf uh, coastal bend region. This time we'll go right to uh, item number one, which is the presentation of the following proclamations. The first one is a proclamation uh, proclaiming the week of September 17th through September 23rd as Constitution Week. And I'd like, like to ask some uh, representatives of the NAR to come up, Tomasita Life, Peggy Morris, and uh, Diana Clark. Dana Clark. Dana Clark. Dana Clark. Terrorists responsible for brought to justice 
whereas America is fully committed to ensuring our future <coughs> remain for all generations, now and forever, whereas world opinion should remain focused on the elimination of these terrorist acts perpetrated <coughs> around the globe, and whereas one way to accomplish this is to never forget that the innocent victims of 9-11 and of subsequent attacks did not die in vain, and whereas America can fight back by reminding the world of the deaths of many people who died on 9-11 will always be remembered and they will be forever loved. And whereas an appropriate way to accomplish this is through the annual celebration of those living, and whereas this commemoration should be conducted each September 11th through the land to include the promotion of global peace and goodwill, the demonstration of America's resolve and perseverance to win the war for freedom, the advancement of responsible citizenship, the encouragement of patriotism and love of country, and the poignant rem remembrance of those innocent victims who died September 11th as heroes one and all, be it resolved that I, Mayor, Mayor Chris Fosco of the City of Arlington, am issuing this proclamation to memorialize those men, women, and children who lost their lives be a further result of this proclamation be publicized for all to see and know that the citizens of Park Place Estates of Parliament will remember with eternal regret <coughs> those whose lives were suddenly, without cause, and pointlessly taken from them on September 11, 2011. <coughs> May they forever rest in peace and abide in our memories. So I'll present this to Douglas and uh, thank you for uh, bringing, bringing this to us. I think it's a, you know, a pretty, you know, I think it's a nice and fitting that we're presenting both the kind of the proclamation on the Constitution and this uh, day of remembrance on the same time. Thank you, sir. I, I do want to say that it's not just the Park Place residents, but it is the city of Harlingen, Corinth Baptist Church on the west side that are all uh, together and partner in this effort so thank you again i appreciate it thank you and i pray that you all come out 9 11 monday four o'clock uh is a buffet to follow after the ceremony and but please come on out and share thank all you right. mayor all right thank you we appreciate it Two is the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of August 16, 2017. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? Hearing now, is there a motion to approve the minutes as presented? So motion. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, let's suppose motion carries. On the consent agenda item 3A through H, is there a motion to adopt the consent agenda? So moved, Mayor. <laughs> Second. All all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. The motion carries. Item four, consideration and possible action to approve the police department purchase of 43 in-car mobile video recorders <coughs> from Watch Guard Video Company for $298,195. Mayor, commissioners, city manager, the, I'm Mike Kester, the assistant chief. Uh, we are requesting approval to purchase these in-car video systems for each of the marked units in the police department. It'll replace the old system that's been going down for quite some time now and allow us to upgrade and really provide a better service to the community. So I can answer any questions you might have. If the mayor and commission will remember, we had this in next year's budget. We took it out. We're going to utilize some savings from this year to buy them now. Most All right. So is there a motion to approve? I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. <laughs> Item five, consideration of possible action to approve the police department purchase of 23 electronic ticket riders from Tyler Technologies for $92,755.02. Uh, Tyler Technologies is the current vendor for the police department's records management system as well as CAD. 
They also own the ENCODE system used by municipal court. So the purchase of these ticket riders, again, updates the old, old equipment that we have and uh, allows us to <coughs> provide a better service to other, the option otherwise is to go back to right in hand written tickets, which I don't think anybody wants to. The funds for this one are uh, from a grant, a JAG grant partially. Also, uh, municipal court has kicked in almost $30,000. And then the rest is coming from the police department's forfeiture funds. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion to second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Glad we can uh, provide this, these uh, this equipment upgrades to our apartments. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> Item six: consideration of possible action to approve a resolution accepting Valley International Airport's adopted budget for fiscal year 2017-18. Art Easterly, welcome. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, appreciate you. you uh, having me here today. Um, I'm here and delighted to uh, to issue or, or show you the 2017-2018 uh, budget for your approval. On August of uh, August 28th of 2017, the airport uh, board had approved this budget. And I'll be happy to go through it, uh, some of the highlights of it, and answer any questions you may have. Um, up here on the screen is our revenue, and 2017 adopted budget was uh, one, one, one six. Six million one hundred forty-three thousand five hundred. Uh, Two thousand eighteen proposed revenue budget is uh, six million two hundred seventy thousand. Uh, you can see there from uh, the, the line items that actually had the greatest impact on the budget was a parking lot increase uh, down to uh, the small items, uh, hanger, a small hanger increase of seven thousand dollars in re hanger rental, and uh, number six there, all the other items equaled about two thousand six hundred or six hundred dollars. <coughs> On the, uh, the expense side, uh, up there at the top, you can see just over $6 million in expenses. Uh, that was increased in 2018 uh, to $6,189,000. Uh, those are the items there, one through nine. I'd be happy to go through them uh, line by line, by line item if you wish or answer any questions related to those. Those are the top uh, 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 contributing uh, contributors to the increase in expenses. Uh, so, uh, just to, to get down to dirty, uh, we have a 2017 adopted budget. We actually were able to save. We I think we were originally had a, a $150,000 uh, loss we were projecting, but by mid-year uh, we were able to turn that around to, and uh, we're at a $70,000 increase uh, for 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, 2018 proposed income uh, is about 81,000. We have uh, several capital improvement projects uh, from a, uh, some SBCA tanks uh, for the ARF personnel, uh, also a Temco sweeper, uh, one pickup truck, and some miscellaneous items for uh, Kincaid operators and tractors. Uh, so our total capital uh, expenses was 199000 uh, we had uh, capital improvements at the airport uh, projected uh, to replace the fan coil units in, in the terminal building. This past year, we did all of the uh, the air handler units, and uh, this will complete that project. Uh, we have uh, also looking at doing uh, with FA's uh, assistance uh, public flooring, replacing the tile inside the terminal building. Uh, looking at some type of terrazzo, an epoxy terrazzo, uh, if we get that far. Uh, we have a reconstruction of the northwest uh, and southwest concrete aprons at the airport. That's an additional 2.5 um, or 3.5 million dollars. Uh, Ninety percent of that coming from FAA, and uh, the other 10 percent coming from PFC. So real quickly, uh, projected cash flow uh, for the year, the few years coming out, 2017, 2018. Uh, this is a projected cash flow at the bottom there, the ending uh, cash, it's 753,000. Uh, that did include uh, the purchase of uh, the Lynx building that is still in on, under negotiation, although we're not under contract currently. And uh, so all those numbers projected out uh, there throughout the next few years, you can uh, you know, add the $1.1 million if in fact we don't close on that particular building. I can answer any questions. Okay, anybody have any questions for Mark? <coughs> then is there a motion to approve <coughs> the budget as uh, approved by the Valley National Airport Board? So moved. Second. Any discussion? 
All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. The motion carries. All right. Thank you. Item seven, consideration of possible action to approve a resolution accepting the development corporation Carl Janine budget for fiscal year 2017-18. Rodell Garza. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. Um, we've had two budget workshops in the past month and we also had a, another formal um, board meeting this afternoon where we approved the budget that is in your packet. And just to go through the budget and some of the highlights, the revenues for the major categories are sales tax, obviously, is the, one of the, the major category, which represents over 75% of the budget. Um, our projections for next year are $4.578 million for revenues um, that are sales tax revenues. Then we've got um, loan and ins loan repayments and investment <coughs> earnings of 18,700, which is about 0.31% of the, of the budget. And another category is the rental income, which represents about 5% of the budget, is uh, $343,066 for um, the rents that we collect on the properties that we own. And also, um, for some of the interfund and miscellaneous revenues that we have, about another 5 or 6%, $355,027 that we're expecting. We are transferring $761,000 um, from our fund balance into our uh, general fund for the year, which means we have a deficit budget. But we've had two surplus budgets in the two pre previous two years, and so basically some of the spending that we hadn't done is going to hit this coming year. Um, and so actually the surpluses have exceeded this deficit, and they're above $800,000. Um, our cash balance two years ago was less than three and a half million dollars as at the end of next year it'll be at a, a slightly above three and a half million dollars in cash alone <coughs> not including all the other assets that we have so we're standing in good shape continue to build that cash balance and also continue to add uh, con other assets to the to the bottom line on the expenditure side we've got um, four main categories, and the largest of which is our debt service and our projects, <coughs> uh, which account for about 75% of the budget. We'll be spending $4.5 million in those projects, 3.2 of that being debt service, and so um, that's the biggest part of the budget. The other big parts uh, on the administrative expenses, which is about 11% of the budget, we're at $702,500. Um, which is a slight increase over last year, but we didn't have a position filled last year, which we do now, um, and we will be um, in the future. We also have marketing expenses, and this is the one that's really exciting for us, of uh, 441400 which is a, about a 20% increase over last year's budget, uh, basically because we're doing more. We're getting out more, we're spreading, out, spreading the word more, we're doing more with our digital marketing, and, um, and so when you're doing more and traveling more, um, you're exposing the opportunities that Harlingen has to others outside the area, uh, it does cost a little bit more. Um, and then of course we have some other contracts which is about 5% of our budget um, with a slight decrease from last year's budget at $333,000. Those are kind of the highlights of the budget. Uh, we're gonna continue to market the assets that we have like the Los Angeles Bridge, the Industrial Park, Valley International Airport, the port, uh, our medical district, if you will, um, both of the hospitals and all the uh, ancillary uh, assets that, that come along with those two hospitals. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, attend as many trade shows as we can. Typically it's about one per month. Sometimes some of these months it'll be two or three. We've got some mission trips to planned to some of our uh, corporate citizens headquarters. And then we've got some other uh, pretty interesting projects that uh, we'll be able to tell everybody about in a few more months. So. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Rodell? Yes, sir. Is there a motion to approve the Economic Development Corporation's budget as presented? So moved. Second. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, thank, thank you to you and your board for a uh, solid budget. Appreciate it. Item uh, eight is the consideration of possible action to approve a resolution 
accepting the downtown improvements as your budget for 2017 18. We're going to table that. <coughs> okay, we're going to pass. Uh, pass that. Pass I'm not that. ready on, on that. <coughs> Item nine: consideration of possible action to accept <coughs> bids and award contract for hot mix asphalt material under informal bid number 2710. Uh, Mayor, Carlos. commissioners, good afternoon. Uh, the item before you, it's a supply contract uh, uh, for the purchase of asphalt. This is the material that our uh, public works crews use throughout the year. Uh, on average, we're uh, consuming about 1,200 uh, tons of asphalt, uh, and we're spending about $80,000 uh, uh, annually. The, uh, we solicited bids, and the bids came in lower than what we're actually paying uh, currently in the uh, current contract. Uh, Frontera Materials uh, is the uh, company that's uh, being recommended. Uh, they have a delivery price at $57.10 per ton and $51 if we send our, our trucks to go pick it up at the plant. Uh, staff is recommending approval. Where is their plant? Uh, there are two plants. There's, uh, Frontera Materials has one in Brownsville and the other one is in Progreso. And, and have you dealt business with them before? Um, yes, we have. And, and do you find, uh, are you sending the guys more to pick them up, or, or, or do you really deliver? Um, what do you normally do? I would, uh, we, we, I, I think tip, typically we send them to go pick it up. Because yeah. uh, we have these, uh, <coughs> what we call flow patcher pieces of equipment. Mm -hmm. So you fill the hopper mm -hmm. with hot asphalt and it maintains it hot for days. Yeah. So that way we can get you get to utilize it. Yeah. So we just send the equipment to go and get filled up and, and bring it back. Okay. It's rare that we get it to do. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, is there a motion to accept the bids and oh, award yeah. the contract to from Terra? And we have a, we have a motion. Second. <coughs> Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Item 10 is in consideration of possible action to approve a resolution <coughs> to certify local funding and support for the submittal of Loop 499 sidewalk improvement project to the statewide mm -hmm. transportation alternative set aside program for funding the competition uh, for the Texas, Texas Department of Transportation 2017 program called the project. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the uh, staff, uh, engineering staff, submitted five applications back in April uh, to the uh, Tech uh, Dot Alternative uh, Set Aside Program. Uh, we have been uh, contacted by Tech Dot. They asked for additional uh, information, supplemental, specific to the uh, Loop 499 Sidewalk Improvement Project. Uh, this is a uh, installation of a sidewalk six foot wide mm -hmm. along. Uh, um, along Loop 499 at Cary, from Rio Hondo Road to FM 106 at uh, approximately 1.48 miles, or 7,820 uh, linear feet. The uh, resolution at this point is just uh, a resolution that commits and uh, shows support, financial support, from the city, city of Harlingen in the event that it was uh, to be selected. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, projects or the applications are still being reviewed um, the estimated project cost for this uh, is uh, $422,275. It is an 80-20 match, uh, which uh, would entail that the city would be responsible for $84,455. However, the city qualifies for an economic disadvantage county program uh, reduction in the cost of 56303 which brings the total financial obligation for the city to uh, $10,557. The, uh, in the resolution, we're requesting that the, uh, the amount of $25,000 be uh, established as a not to exceed amount in the event that we have unforeseen expenses. Again, this is if and when uh, or if the uh, project was to be selected for funding by Textile. Staff's recommending approval. This sidewalk. Uh, picks up for our walking trail, kind of ends there at the at Harrison. And it's uh, from Harrison right? going uh, north, north to Rio on the <coughs> yes. And so we'll now have, if this happens, we'll now have a walking trail that takes us all the way up to uh, base of Rio Hondo Road. And yes, and I believe their sidewalk picks up basically pretty close to there, going uh, going going towards DSTC. Or, yes, yeah. that'd be nice. 
I make the motion that we so we capture on this. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? <coughs> no. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, like sign, motion carries. I have 11, consideration possible action improvement agreement between BCLR Harlingen Construction LLC and Killian Construction Company in accordance with the development agreement for the City of Harlingen Convention Center. Okay. Uh, subject to the provisions of the development agreement between the City of Harlingen and BCLR Harlingen Construction uh, Limited Liability Corporation, Article 4, the city is to consider, the city commission is to consider for approval the developer's selection for general contractor, uh, the project budget, uh, which is also uh, referenced or known as the guaranteed maximum price, and the construction schedule. Uh, BCLR, or attached to in your package, uh, is a contract uh, between BCLR uh, and the uh, selected contractor, uh, Killian Construction of Springfield, Missouri. Uh, to build a convention center. As noted the con in the contract documents between these two parties, the maximum price, <coughs> the, the guaranteed maximum price is set at $12,717,729. $12,717,729. Mm -hmm. $28. Um, yeah, there, um, there is a typo. Uh, the contract it should be 29 based on all the documentation that we've had to date. One our dollar, right? so it's a dollar here or there. So. Uh, this price includes a $200,000 contractor contingency, and it does not include the uh, $351,659 for the fixed furniture and equipment. The project timeline is 12 months. Uh, staff has reviewed the uh, uh, attached documents and recommends approval. We've also had legal review the document, and uh, uh, this is in accordance with the development agreement. Staff is recommending approval. It, it is a guaranteed maximum price. Uh, in addition to this fee, we will all have also have the, the furniture fee and some development costs. But this is strictly the construction cost. Now, on the development, I mean, on the uh, the two hundred thousand um, contingency, mm -hmm. if we don't use it, we can apply that. To, to that anywhere, or? and according to the contract, that becomes part of the shared savings for the project. Uh, if you remember, when we presented the item to the 4B and the City Council, we we estimated that we were going to achieve a $250,000 savings in, in some deducts and value engineering items. I don't believe we're going to be able to get there because we don't want to change the scope of, of the building. Okay. So we're going to utilize that $200,000 in that contingency. So okay. we're going to ask that stay in there as shared savings. Okay. The staff is recommending approval. Okay. Is there a motion to approve the agreement as presented? So moved. Is there a second? Second. We need to be a second. Any other discussion? <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign, motion carries. Thank you. All right. Item 12 consideration of possible action to change. The Harlingen City Commission regular meeting date of Wednesday, September 20th, 2017 to Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. Mayor Commissioner, I'm asking if we can move the date uh, for the September 20th meeting to the September 19th. The mayor won't be here and uh, we will have an item on the agenda that I'd like everybody to be here for. So if we can move no, that we instead, of a, move instead of a Wednesday, have it on a Tuesday. I think the only budget we have pending is the DID budget and it should be ready, right? Yes. Water. <coughs> water works also. Oh, and the water works. Water works. Ow, oh, almost forgot about that. Yeah. Okay, is there a motion to uh, move, the, move the regular city commission meeting from the 20th to the 19th? Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those who are like five, motion carries. <coughs> Item 13. Consideration of possible action of change or cancel the Harvest City Commission regular meeting date of Wednesday, October 4th. Mayor Commissioners, the majority of the commission will be at the TML conference in October, which begins on Wednesday, October 4th. Um, I would propose that we cancel this meeting and simply pick up the next meeting on October the 18th. We could move it to the 11th if we needed to, but, but I don't, where's Rodrigo? Um, he's not here. So I don't think we have any planning items, Gabe, that, that you're aware of. 
No. Um, our meeting will be next week. Depending on what so it'll fall on the 19th, though. So we could always meet on the second if we if we really need it. If something comes up, if something comes up, we 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 can call a special yeah. meeting. So let's just uh, is there a motion to cancel the meeting on October fourth? I, I move that we cancel the meeting to the fourth. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. I suppose Mike signs. The motion carries. Out of fourteen board appointments. I have an answer. Any board appointments? Yes. If I have Sergio Blanes to the Construction Board of Adjustments and Appeals. Okay. Is there a motion to approve board appointments? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, like sign. Item 15, Executive Closed Session Attorney Consultation pursuant to 5.1.071 Texas Government Code to provide legal advice <coughs> and counsel in connection with certain collective bargaining issues contained in the notice of intent to bargain by the duly recognized majority bargaining agents of the city's law enforcement officer and the Orange Police Officer Law Enforcement Association and the Orange Professional Firefighters Association. Is there a motion to go into executive session? <laughs> so moved. All those favor say aye. Aye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the commission is going to consult with its attorney in the conference room. Uh, it is possible that there will be <laughs> action uh, on the last item when we come out. Thank you all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of executive session at 6.22 p.m. And the, uh, we're going to pass on item 16. Item 17, citizen communication. I understand there's no, no one signed up for no citizen communication. So we are adjourned. Thank you.